What's up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. As you guys can see by the title, we are discussing some beauty tips that's gonna make you feel confident from your blunt big sis, okay? I know you guys love the short form of this, so I was like, you know, maybe let's make it a little longer, all right? Of course, I didn't know what to film. I never do. And I was like, okay, maybe we should do like a longer version of beauty tips that'll make you feel confident because you guys really enjoy these. And I love talking about it, okay? I love cursing you out and letting you know what you need to do to make your appearance better, okay? Because period. What are big sisters for, all right? So if you get offended by any of this advice, then this is clearly for you. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so number one, you have us are starting to look bald headed, okay? And not the typical bald head that you think I'm talking about, the bald headed up here. Uh uh. I, I don't have any room to talk about anybody being bald headed at the hair because I'm going bald head myself, okay? I just got diagnosed with alopecia areata the other week, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip my lips on that one. But you guys are starting to look bald head up here okay in the eyeballs and you want to know why it's because you're not putting castor oil on your eyelashes every single night okay when i tell you i do this faithfully every single day and i have seen a difference in my brows and my lashes of them growing i'm not joking okay the reason why you are going bald head in the eyelashes is because you're getting those mink lashes every two weeks yeah those 150 dollar lashes you have to keep up from them lash tags yeah that's draining your pockets but also making you bald and then also if you wear lash strips over time and that is also going to make you bald as well okay so keep up with your natural lash okay when i noticed that i was starting to look like the the creature from lord of the rings you know the hobbit the little the little the little golem little nigga yeah okay when i noticed that i was starting to look like that in the eyelashes i was like okay something has to be done all right because i cannot keep walking around like this all right i am looking crazy all right pay attention to your natural lashes like i said i bought this stuff off amazon i think this product was like no more than ten dollars and i have really seen a difference now do i have a before and after pic of how much my lashes have grown no i do not i do not okay it's called delulu you have to believe in things for you to see it grow okay but no i'm not joking i have really seen a difference within my lashes now my eyebrows are a different story my mother doesn't have i'm sorry mom you know to, to throw you on the bus my mother doesn't have eyebrows and I really believe for you to have thick and bushy eyebrows, it comes down to genetics. So my eyebrows are growing slowly, but I have seen a difference with my eyelashes. I feel like my eyelashes are way longer than they used to be six months ago. So definitely check out putting castor oil on your eyebrows and eyelashes every single night. Maybe you wanna stop being bald in the eyeballs, period. Okay, get it together. All right now. Speaking of going bald head up here, okay? The second tip that I have for you guys is not pre-oiling your hair before you shampoo. Okay, did you just hear me say that I got diagnosed with alopecia areata just two weeks ago and I have been pre-oiling my hair every single night, okay? The girlies are not lying about pre-oiling your scalp or just pre-oiling your hair before you shampoo to get more growth, have shinier, healthier, and strengthen your hair, but it is so good for your scalp, okay? Ever since I got diagnosed with alopecia, I have really been taking, you know, my scalp care seriously because that's... I mean, if you want beautiful, luscious hair, you have to take care of your scalp. The two products that I love to use to pre-oil my hair before I shampoo is the Faithful and Main Hair Oil. This is a little one I got from Sephora. I've been trying this one. I like this one. And then I also like this one as well. I got this one from The Beauty Supply. This is a Biotin Premium Hair Oil for growth. Both of these really maintain the growth and they also both are for strengthening your scalp. And that is something that I need, all right? If you, look. Okay, you can't be bald headed in the eyelashes and in the hair. Like, what a pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. Okay, please start pre oiling your scalp before you shampoo and watch the difference it makes in your hair. Okay, stop just going in and just shampooing your hair. Make sure the shampoo and the conditioners you use are not only good for your hair, but they're also good for your scalp. Because scalp care is important. Okay, do you want to be like me and have patches in your head? No, you don't. Okay. Get it together. My third tip is you guys not using a face or a body gua sha in your beauty routine. But you keep complaining about your double chin, okay? Your double chin isn't going to fix itself. You have to do something about it, okay? If you don't have $1,000 to go to a, a dermatologist or esthetician to get Botox in your chin, then baby, this is your only option. And this is $10, okay? 
This is $10. It's easy, affordable, and simple, all right? I absolutely love doing this. I usually do this routine in the shower. And yes, I saw everybody's comments under my video where I show like my Botox in the shower routine. Yes. I have cut off the water, okay? You guys ate me up in the comments. And I agree, okay, Nicole, save the planet, all right? I, I know I'm destroying the planet by making the water just fall on me, all right? I have got it together and I turn the water off now, okay? But anyway, back to what I was saying. I usually do this in the shower because it's just more convenient for me to do it in the shower. I basically just like get any type of face wash that I have on hand in the shower and just like lather my face, lather my chest, open up my lymph nodes, which is like under your arms, on your chest, behind your ear. And then I start just squashing. Okay, just do you know the benefits of doing this? Not only does this tighten the skin and get rid of that double chin that you have, so you can see your jawline finally. But lethanic drainage has so many benefits. It increases blood circulation it reduces water retention and just like fluids in the body it makes your skin glow it tightens the skin like i can go on and on and on and on of why lymphatic drainage is so important i'm telling you guys ever since i've been doing and i do this consistently like i do this every single day when i'm in the shower i finally have a chin i know you see it I couldn't see my chin at first, okay? I was one of those girls that couldn't see my chin, okay? And I'm not paying $1,000 to get Botox in my chin when I can do this for $10, okay? Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder, okay? Please. Get you a face gua sha and a body gua sha and start taking this routine serious because you're gonna see a difference immediately, okay? Within like two weeks, which is like an immediate difference. You're gonna see a difference. Please, trust me, listen to your big sister, take her advice and start adding lymphatic drainage into your beauty routine and thank me later. All right, now, fourth tip, you're still shaving but you complain about ingrown hairs. Okay. Put the razor down, put the razor down, put the razor down, all right? If you suffer with ingrown hairs really bad, babe, you can't shave. Let it go, let it go, let it go. All right, let's use Nair or let's get a wax, okay? Because a lot of the times of why your ingrown hairs flare so much or why you always have to maintain it so much is because you shave, all right? Let the shaving go. I rebuke shaving out my life, all right? Especially, like I said, if that is your biggest problem. And not only are you shaving, but you're also not keeping up with your like ingrown hair serums and oils to help maintain that, okay? The oil that I'm currently using right now is this one that I got off TikTok shop. This is from the brand Her Fantasy Box and this oil is called Renew Her. It fades dark marks, moisturizes the private area and reduces ingrown hairs. I love trying out ingrown hair oils and stuff like that. You guys, if you are an advocate watcher of my channel, you know how much I love Furs Ingrown Hair Serum. But I've been trying this one out. I've been putting it under my arms and like down in my cool mama area and I really like this. But yeah, if ingrown hairs is a big problem for you, stop shaving, period. It's that simple. Stop, stop shaving, okay? And I don't wanna hear, well, I wax and I still get ingrown hairs. Of course you do, of course. Ingrown hairs are kinda inevitable because everybody's body is different. But at least if you haven't tried to cut out shaving first to see if it will reduce it, then try that first, okay? Because I noticed when I cut down on my shaving and I stop shaving as much, my ingrown hair stopped flaring as much, okay? All right now, remember that. Let's cut the shaving out. Let's just start waxing or use Nair. I do not recommend using Nair down there. I've never, no, don't, don't do that, okay. But waxing down there, getting a professional wax down there, yeah, try that out. Try that out and thank me later. The fifth tip is walking around with ashy feet. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Feet care is important. I'm gonna need you to stop washing your whole body and taking care of your whole body. Then when it comes to your feet, you're just washing it with a rag and, le and getting out of the shower or the tub, okay? Let's take care of our feet, ladies and gentlemen. You should not have cracked ankles or cracked heels. Okay, in the winter, summer, spring, fall, I don't care which season it is. I can see those crack heels from a mile away. And they stink. Please. 
get it together, all right? The two products I like to use to really take care of my feet are these two bad boys right here that I got from Ulta Beauty. They are both exfoliator scrubs, but one is like an actual scrub and then the other one is like a spray exfoliator scrub. So this is the Tree Hut Oil Cooling Foot Scrub and then this is the Foot Peeling Spray. They both actually do the same thing. They both get the dry skin off, but I just noticed when I just use this alone, just doesn't do the job all the way. So I have to go in with this to really get the rest of the access of my dry skin off my heels and just feet in general after I get done soaking my feet in warm water for it to really get the job done. Okay, and then to moisturize my feet, I love using the Gold Bond. This is their aloe vera foot cream. Oh my gosh, not only does this smell delicious, but this keeps my feet hydrated for like a week. Okay, this shit is good. I really like this foot cream. I got it from Walmart. Yeah, highly recommend for you to get this foot cream. Amazing. Tip number six. I just, why am I holding up five? Um, you are not double cleansing. What are, what are you doing? Okay, ma'am, you didn't take all your makeup off by just using just one cleanser. Oh, that's not enough. It's not enough, okay? I don't even care if you use makeup wipes, okay? If you wanna use makeup wipes, do you. Eat. Makeup wipes are not, they say, that's not a good option to use. But if you use makeup wipes, that's your life. Use the makeup wipe and then go in and cleanse your face, okay? What I use is a cleansing oil, which is what they say you're supposed to use. And then I go in with the cleanser. They say cleansing oil is better than cleansing wipes because the cleansing oil really does break down the oils and like your makeup and SPF better than makeup wipes do. And I agree. I really feel like the oil does break down, especially getting all the makeup off my face, especially at the end of the night because my face is an oily rag at the end of the night. So it makes sense to put oil on top of oil to get oil off, right? Okay, so this is the one I like to use. This is the Bobbi Brown one. I do not suggest for you to get this one. I pay $50 for this. Yeah, I need to be smacked. I know. And then I go in with my Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. Um, I can't pronounce this brand, but this is a Korean cleanser. They also have a cleansing oil that goes with this as well. And that one is really good too. I got this from Amazon, but this is what I go in after I do my cleansing oil to really just get deep into my pores and just to make sure, double check and make sure the makeup is completely off. That is how you properly take off your makeup. Okay? Okay, okay. You can't be complaining about a, a pimple here, there, 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 and here, and you're not fully taking off your makeup correctly, okay? Now, let me tell you, if you are an acne-prone person like I am, you're still gonna have pimples, all right? But at least you took off all your makeup. You really wanna make sure you're taking off all your makeup properly because you do wanna reduce pimples, so, yes. That pretty much concludes the video, all right? I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and love the tips I gave. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried any of these tips I gave and how they have worked for you or any other beauty tips that you have that you do in your beauty routine that helps you feel confident. Put it in the comments, okay? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram, my TikTok, my Snapchat, all of them. Follow all of them, all right? Help us sister out. And I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.